Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn Python tkinter tutorial. I am going to teach you how can you create a basic name entry app using tkinter. So why delay? Let's see how this can be done. In this video I have taught how can you create these three lines and what are the meanings of these three lines. Now this is very important for you to start with tkinter. So please do watch this video in case you have missed watching it. Until here, if I run this specific code, it used to create a simple basic window where I have got nothing. Now in this one, I would like to create something called name and I'll give a simple text box to the user where he can type something. So how this can be done? Let's see it. Now for this, we will proceed. The very first thing we need we need a text box, right? Whose name is supposed to be name. So I'll create a variable called name underscore text box. Okay, you can give any variable name just for our understanding purpose. I am using this variable name underscore text box. This is a variable equals to I'm going to use the tkinter library and inside that there is a class called entry. Now the moment I say class anyone who is very new might have some question what is a class now I would ask you to imagine a red velvet cake if I am going to ask you hey can you prepare a red velvet cake now the moment I say this you will imagine because it's a cupcake I said red velvet cupcake now cupcake now you got a size of it right it would be a small size the color because it's a red velvet cake the color should be red in color so what is this color color is a property of the cake right and then the size which would look like a cupcake is again a property of the cake right the ingredients that you are going to use so what happens when i'm saying prepare a red velvet cupcake you prepare a blueprint okay how that size would be what should be the color of the cake so all these properties you define for a cupcake so now the cupcake is a class and all its property like a color is equal to red is a property. So class will have multiple properties is more like a template, right? Like a blueprint. You create a blueprint how that cake would look like. Similar way when I want to create a text box. So here this entry is a class which would help me to build a text box where I can make entry, right? I can write something. So entry becomes a class. Okay, so with that, and always think of a red velvet cupcake when it comes to class, then you will remember quite easily. Okay, it's more like a blueprint template. Template. Okay, so now I'm using this template to create a text box. Now, in this one, I can only enter single line text when I'm saying dot entry. This class is defined in a way because red velvet cake has to be red in color, it cannot be any other color, right? Similar way, this entry class in this, if you are using this particular class or template. You can only create a text box which can have a single line entry, not a multi line entry. That is the meaning. So class you have understood. Now you are creating an object using a template, right? For example, I'm asking you to create a cupcake. You have created a template where you will put the mold and the red velvet cake will appear. So that becomes your template. Now, once the cake appears, that becomes a real object, right? You will have that. You can eat it. Similar way here, I'm creating a real object called text box by using this template. So the text box becomes an object now using this particular entry. So text box will become an object. Now where would you like to keep this object? I would like to keep inside the root. So root means what? Root means the main window. Just now we saw that blank window was coming, right? So I want to place this text box inside the root. That's why I'm defining root. So this line, line number three should be clear if you have got my explanation. Now let's move on to the next one. Now once I have it, once I have the text box, it is mandatory for you to arrange it within the, uh, for example, if I simply run this code, okay, let me run this code. Now what is happening? This root is the main window or the blank window got created, but I still cannot see the text box, right? Because the application doesn't understand where to keep it. Shall I keep it on the top, left, right, top, where, where exactly? Middle. So you have not defined it, right? 
so to define where that specific text box should be placed inside this blank root window now for this all i have to do simply write another line called name dot text box this object that i have created okay so you got an un understanding right when i say use when i use this term object and class class means a template object is using a cupcake template is there you put the mold and then the cake would appear similar way entry is a uh, template uh, on which i am saying create a text box so entry class creates a text box okay this template is for to build text boxes that is the use of this class so here the object got created now this object i would like to place it this will be placed in root but where is the position now for this there is a function called pack which would help to position this text box that you have created inside this root so simply you say pack so what this pack will do if i run it if you see if i run it what this uh, is exactly going to do it is going to organize it so anytime you are creating the very first object it is going to be placed at the top then if you are creating one more object will be placed at the bottom for example here i have created this now on top of this i want to have a label what is this text box is for so you should let the user know right what is this text box is for now this text box is for uh, entering the name so how do you define it on top of that i am writing name and i am giving a variable this is just a variable okay name underscore label is a variable equals to the same thing goes so t kinto dot there is a class called label here to create a label like to create a text box there is a class same way to create a label there is a class called dot label now this label you have to provide what where it you have to keep it always in the root right so i am saying root comma then i have to provide a parameter a parameter in the sense what that label title should be right the label should be so i am saying enter your name or simply say enter name just keep it simple now look at this when i am going to run it so you cannot run it until you organize it right now to organize remember this what this pack does it just organizes okay organizes in the geometrical space where to keep it in the layout right it just organizes dot pack the same thing i have to apply it for the label anytime the number of different tools you are creating like a label text boxes you have to organize them so to organize them i'll just copy this code and here instead of text box i will say label name underscore it should be the same name okay so i have packed it now look at it what's going to happen the three and four line will run first so it will create a label first and below that is going to organize this text box so if i run it now okay so what happened the first we got the label called enter name then we got the text box now the same thing we can create it for multiple different things right so let's copy paste now all you have to do once you have understood this lines so i'll keep it at at one place now what i'm going to do i'll copy paste let's say i want to make it uh, for email address to enter email address i'll copy paste and here instead of name i will simply say email okay and let's change everything to email quickly and i'm going to say email email okay so here i would say enter email all right and here it is again going to create a text box so look at it how the final output would look like so what happened i got the name i got the email address box so where i can make some entry okay you can see i can make some entry similar way you can repeat it and make multiple text boxes like email address phone uh, number then address right all of this so this particular code you have understood how to create text boxes so you have got all the meaning of entire code so let's repeat what we have done here what we have done simply we created a variable and we are using the classes like label label to create a label and we used another class called entry to create text boxes so all the all you have to remember is what is that uh, class which i have to use to create a label it's label to create a text box it's entry 
okay so this is all we, this is the objective of this specific video after that we are, we are going to slowly proceed and create more complicated apps but again let's have our basics clear so that will help us to build more complicated applications later on so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic and see what's coming in the next video Thank mm -hmm. you.